Last trading week was long awaited and full of nervous anticipation. On Wednesday, investors were looking ahead to the FOMC meeting and hoped to get clues about particular dates for the tapering of the asset purchase program. However, markets did not get any clarity this time. This helped US stock indices to win back their losses and investors to calm down and resume steady trading. Meanwhile, the US dollar index, which measures its value against the basket of six major currencies, closed last week near almost the same levels as it did in the previous weekly session at 93.30. On Thursday, USD index declined sharply to 93 points after investors had digested the results of the Fed's meeting and the possibility of a slowdown in economic growth. The US Federal Reserve has lowered its economic forecast for 2021 and raised expectations for inflation. The central bank also warned it could consider raising interest rates sooner than expected, but would leave some stimulus measures in case the US economy needs them. The possibility of an earlier rate hike has caused a weakening of the European currency, so the euro-dollar pad returned to the opening levels from last week to 1.1720. The British pound was showing similar dynamics. After a rebound from monthly lows, the pound-dollar pair recovered from previous losses and regained ground following the Bank of England's meeting that took place on Thursday. The central bank's monetary policy committee left interest rates and asset purchases unchanged, but noted that moderate tightening was highly likely in the near future. Besides, one of the central bank's officials insisted that the quantitative easing program should be reduced as soon as possible. As for Bitcoin, it lost its shine among investors last week. The quotes failed to return above the psychological level of 50,000 US dollars per token. The Chinese government has officially banned cryptocurrencies in the country. Following this news, Bitcoin dropped to the mark of 41,000 US dollars per coin. In the meantime, oil posted its fifth week of growth. Brent crude ended up at $78 per barrel on Friday, which was its highest level since October 2018. The energy market is still wary of supply disruption and possible deficit after Hurricane Ida and other storms had led to a sharp decline in crude stockpiles in the US and all over the world. Gold, on the other hand, came under pressure and consolidated near the lowest level since early August, that is near US dollars per troy ounce. This was its third week of decline. The sell-off wave in gold was triggered by hints about an earlier-than-expected rate hike by the Fed. In addition, investors were monitoring the situation around the debt crisis in China, in particular the default of the construction giant Evergrande. You forged combined financial review on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Stay tuned.